German Obligations to Greece, Part 10, Epilogue Greece demanded payment of debts from Germany first time in 1945 and eight more times since then. Also, Greece has submitted at least three verbal notes to Germany for the settlement of its debts. The negative attitude of the German government is based on the opinion that the Treaty of Moscow 2 plus 4, which does not refer to the issue of German debts, binds Greece. However, the Scientific Committee of the German Federal Parliament disagrees, stating that Greece is not bound by the Moscow Treaty in the negotiation of which it did not participate and which it has neither signed nor ratified. Nevertheless, Greece has only received 0.3% of Germany's debts to date. And not only is Germany refusing to pay its debt to Greece until today, but it also benefits substantially from the Greek economic crisis. Contrary to the German propaganda that Greece is a ballast for Germany, Germany is a major beneficiary by the Greek debt crisis. First, Germany earned 2.9 billion euros between 2010 and 2017 from Greek bonds via the security market program. And this according to a response from the Federal Ministry of Finance in Berlin to a parliamentary request by the Greens in 2018. Second, the debt crisis in Greece resulted in a reduction in German bond rates of about 300 basis points, yielding interest savings of more than 100 billion euros during the period 2010 to 2015. And this, according to the Halle Institute for Economic Research. After the two world wars that Germany started, already at the Yalta conference it was decided to limit its military responsibility with American and British troops stationed inside the country. Thus, German hegemony is of an economic rather than military nature today. Then with tanks, now with banks, reads a poster in the center of Athens. The Greek thinker Xenophon is more relevant than ever. To subjugate one, you need only impoverish him. There are two ways to conquer and enslave a country. One is by the sword, the other is by debt. The Germans failed to exterminate the Greeks through violence and now they attempt it through debt. And this is a form of genocide because today the Greeks are selling off state assets renouncing any form of national sovereignty. Wage earners and pensioners are economically impoverished and hundreds of thousands of young people leave the country. Nobel laureate Joseph Stiglitz states that, as the Greek saga continues, many have marveled at Germany's arrogance. It received in real terms one of the largest bailout and debt reductions in history, and unconditional aid from the United States, and yet it refuses even to discuss Greek debt relief. He argues that Greeks have been crushed for the second time in a century by Germany. Another famous economist described the Greek crisis today as the worst hypocrisy on the part of Germany. Why do famous economists talk about arrogance and hypocrisy on the part of Germany? Because the memoranda of understanding, which are crushing Greece today, were imposed in Greece at the suggestion of Germany because German demands over Greece today are vindictive, as another Nobel laureate Paul Krugman argues. Because the children and grandchildren of the Germans who filled Greece with blood and ruins, instead of paying their debts, demand payment from the children and grandchildren of the Greeks whom they murdered. 
German imperialism has been exceptionally brutal. During the occupation of France in 1870, the Germans indulged in indescribable atrocities, massacres, holocausts. The Herero and Nama genocide between 1904 and 1908 was the first genocide of the 20th century waged by the German Empire in their colony of Southwest Africa, present-day Namibia. Germans used to whip between the thighs, destroying genitals, spilling intestines and dismembering embryos. They burned villages and crops causing famine. They pushed the survivors out into the desert and poisoned the wells. They sent them to concentration camps where they died of forced labor. They used pieces of their bodies for race studies. Trotha, the German governor of the colony, explained, I destroy the African tribes with streams of blood. Only following this cleansing can something new emerge. During the First World War, the Germans committed atrocities in Belgium. In Dinan, for example, they murdered or burned alive 675 civilians between one month and 90 years old. Thirty years later, during the Second World War, the Germans committed similar atrocities, massacres, holocausts, inhumane experiments. The philosopher Fritz Fischer, in his analysis from Kaiserreich to Third Reich, indicates the continuity of the ideology of racial purity and extermination of inferior human beings from the Wilhelmian Empire through the Weimar Republic to the Nazi regime. Hitler did not appear out of the blue. Today, 80 years later, in the name of the same ideology, German propaganda calls Southern Europeans lazy, while Germany enriches itself at the expense of the European South. Today, Greece is a debt colony because of the austerity policy demanded by Germany. Not all Germans are unrepentant. Rainer S. condemns the actions of his grandfather Rudolf Hertz, commander of Auschwitz and responsible for the tragic death of 2.5 million people. He confesses, My grandfather was not a simple commander, but the initiator of the brutality of the camps, the initiator of Auschwitz. And my grandmother called Auschwitz her paradise. He describes how his grandmother, grandfather and their children visited the Nazi warehouses twice a month to select as much jewelry as they wanted, from what they had seized from the victims in the gas chambers. 17 years old Rainer S. left home after reading his grandfather's memoirs. Not all Germans are debtors and ingrates. The German couple Nina Lange and Ludwig Zakharo came to Nafplion to pay 875 euros, the amount they thought corresponds to each German citizen for the occupation loan. The Scientific Committee of the Federal Parliament, in a report that was published in 2019, admits that Greece never resigned from its demands vis-à-vis -vis Germany. Several Germans in our days want to free themselves from the unconfessed crimes that their parents and grandparents committed. They know that if they do not fulfill their obligations, history will continue to stigmatize them as accessories to injustice. Greeks do not incriminate the whole German people. The German people should know by now that the people of Greece hold them in no hate. They stand in solidarity with the ordinary German citizen who knows his history, condemns the crimes of his ancestors and recognizes Germany's debt. To conclude, Germany should repay its debt not because Greece is in a financial crisis, but mainly because Germans should learn their history, condemn their ancestors' atrocities, and make sure they don't repeat them. 
Also, it is only fair that Greece stops paying its debt to Germany until Germany starts repaying its own debt to Greece. Our aim is to restore fairness, decency and justice in Europe. You also could participate in the just fight of Greece to right wrongs and dispense justice. You may sign the petition to the German government to pay what it owes to Greece, a debt to history and humanity. Over 200,000 signatures have been gathered to date from citizens of several countries. Helen Savaki is Professor Emerita with the University of Crete. Member of the Committee on German Debts. The following organizations participate in the Committee on German Debts. International Hellenic Association, Canadian Hellenic Congress, Hellenic American National Council, the Livani Foundation.